We'll start with uh, regarding the GSP uh, fight. I remember commenting I remember commenting that um, I was uh, I remember commenting that well. I remember commenting on uh, somebody's uh, prediction videos. I can't actually remember who. Um, that they suggested uh, that uh, GSP was actually going to be able to finish um, Jake Shields. And I said, you know, win he probably would, uh, but finish he probably wouldn't. And it went pretty much like that. It was exactly what one expected. Um, basically, uh, it was um, GSP managed to keep it on, on, his, uh, on his feet. Uh, it didn't go to the ground. If it had have gone to the ground, he would have done nothing but uh, um, uh, uh, sleep on him, most probably. Um, but it stayed on its feet uh, and... Um, Although I suppose you could argue more physical damage was done to GSP, his eye looked pretty bad. I'll have to excuse Jens, he's very excited. Um, although uh, his eye looked pretty bad at one point in time, uh, really, um, Shields wasn't uh, as good as I thought he would be. Um, I did say to you that I worried that his stand-up was not fantastic. Um, what I'm the thing the thing is, having looked at the fight, I actually think GSP could have finished on the feet. That's why I think this is such a um, uh, such a, a disappointment. Not because uh, GSP won, but because this of all fights, I thought. He actually might be able to finish on his feet if um, Shields isn't that good. And Shields wasn't that brilliant. Uh, and GSP still fails to, to finish. You know, most people have... I think most people are uh, um, far more Anderson Silver than they are GSP. And I think the only difference really between them... Is, is that their dominance is played out in two different, uh, completely different arenas. Anderson Silva almost always finishes every single fight he ever enters. Um, he, he may not uh, um, engage all the time, but when he does fight, when he actually does fight, he's very exciting. GSP is like the total opposite. He is, um, again, always winning but deathly boring um, in terms of uh, any sort of um, uh, flurry of excitement. If he's on the ground, he spends five rounds and maybe makes, on average, two or three submission attempts in the whole uh, course of that. Um, if he's on the feet, you know, he's, he's reasonably good, but getting a TKO is not... Um, not something that he uh, uh, he hasn't got the KO power. Um, he hasn't really got uh, knockdown power particularly. So it's just that he turns the other person's face um, into into a, a bit of a mess. It's not. Um, if I had to choose between watching an Anderson Silva uh, fight or uh, a GSP fight, taking the risk with Anderson Silva that he may not engage. For a round or two, I would still go for him. Um, I do do feel that he's more exciting to watch, and I think that part of being a champion is not just that you are good technical fighter, which they both are in their own ways, but it's also that you do have to be a crowd pleaser. You do. Um, I, I, it's 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 maybe not um, acceptable to say, but this is entertainment. Um, as well as, as pure sport. And um, enjoyment comes in two forms. You enjoy the technicality you see, uh, which you can still enjoy with both of them, but you also have to enjoy the fight. Um, and it's very hard to do that with a GSP fight at all. Uh, whereas 
with um, Anderson Silva and with BJ Penn, uh, the other two um, in that sort of category, it's very, very easy. Fight of the Night, I think, would be uh, the other championship, um, Josie Aldo and Mark Hominick. Both gave it absolutely their all, um, and uh, Josie Aldo uh, won. Just. Uh, it was a decision, um, and it was extremely uh, uh, exciting. Um, also, I think they had to stop it at one point uh, to have a look at, um, where was it? They had to stop at one point because Hominick was not uh, not not uh, looking so good. I'm glad they finished the fight um, in terms of didn't stop it there. Um, you know, I think that Josie Aldo, I think Mark Hominick has, has proven himself to be fantastic because Josie Aldo is usually um, a big finisher. I hope um, that this is not going to be the start of um, uh, a mini-me for <laughs> um, uh, GSP in terms of what I was talking about before. thing with those two is at least they have given us an exciting performance. I actually don't have too much problem with a person who can't finish. That's not my problem. That That is a problem, but that's not the main problem. The main problem is, if you go to decision, it had better be an enjoyable 25 minutes of viewing. You know, with Josie Aldo, it was an extremely good watch. Yes, it went on for 25 minutes, but it was worth the watch. GSP, you know, it wasn't. You knew what he was going to do. You knew he was probably going to do it. And you watched on the off chance that Jake Shields won amazing break. Um, and this sort of amazing break, unfortunately, did happen uh, twice in this, this um, competition. The first one was Loyota Makada and uh, Randy Couture. Anybody who thought that Randy Couture could win that one was probably a little bit delusional to begin with. Uh, you know, over the last... Randy Couture's record isn't fantastic for a start. He's had a lot of time recently out uh, for, for um, many reasons, whether that be battling the UFC uh, or just really um, in terms of age or his first retirement, all that sort of stuff. Um, you know, Makada was always probably going to win that one. And it was a, a, a knockout not to be missed. Um, and uh, uh, Randy Couture did not miss it at all. Um, the other uh, person who experienced something like that was, unfortunately for me, uh, Kyle Watson. Um, McDessie, John McDessie, obviously uh, is going to now enjoy his um, birthday because that was a birthday present and a half. The highlight reel of that, I'm sure, will be uh, going viral very shortly. Unfortunately, in the third round um, of a match that Kyle was already not winning because he didn't uh, manage to get McDessie to the ground, um, I think I, I would have gone and, and taken him down. And the problem was that McDessie was uh, avoiding the takedown with knees. Um, I don't know. Uh, I think if it had gone to the ground that Watson would have won. Um, anyway, it was one of those bizarre you know, spinning back fist that actually connected. Uh, it's the sort of thing that um, it never happens. But when it does happen, it's like, oh my God. Uh, and unfortunately, he got caught and that was the end of it for him. Charlie Valencia, I was a little bit disappointed with. Uh, Vladimir Matyushenko, I was extremely pleased with. And I, I told people, and not many people actually, um, there were people who said, ooh, Vladimir Matyushenko, no, I don't think so, but uh, he won. Uh, and was there anything else to say? Fortunately, Nathan Diaz didn't win. Uh, well done to Jake Ellenberger, he did win. Oh, yes. Fight of the night turned out to be a little bit of a disappointment, didn't it? I recommended uh, and suggested that it would be uh, Claude Patrick and Daniel Roberts. Um, actually, that fight was not... Uh, I was a little bit disappointed in it. I just found it a little bit... I didn't find it anywhere near as exciting as I thought that that would be in terms of both on the feet, but especially on the ground. Um... I was just a little bit disappointed with that one. Maybe that's that. Maybe that's just unfair of me. But there we are. So there we are. That's my uh, recap video.